must be scared, but you shouldn't be. It'll all be over soon. Look at you. Wow! It's hard to picture you were a little kid. And look at you now. You're all grown up. Feels like yesterday. Such innocence, such passion. But you have no idea the horrors that were ahead of you. But I, I am your savior. Now, I was genuinely sad about what happened to your little friend. But he always was a little troubled, though, don't you say? Nonetheless, you, 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 you always were my little favorite. I remember watching you in the park, and I knew when I first saw you, I knew I have to take you away from this world, because you But then you had to run away from me, didn't you? You had to get away from me. So now I gotta do what I have to do. Uh, don't cry. I'm gonna make this quick and easy for you. You ready? Alright, here we go. And action. What you got, bro? Which one do you want, man? I got four of them right there on the floor. These? Right here? Yeah. Okay, I got 30 bucks for you, man. 30 bucks? Look at <laughs> They aren't that hot, bro. You're saying 30 bucks? That was the floor. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got 30 bucks for you. Are you serious? That's what... Come on, bro. Do you want to do yeah, this or not? Come on. Hey, Randall, dude. These are my women right here, man. They don't yeah, work. Yeah, those are your women. They're, they're, one, they're one, too. All right. It's okay. Yeah. I don't have one day, which one are you gonna give me for 30 bucks? 30 bucks. 30 bucks. I'll tell you what. Candy, you wanna come shake this guy's hand for $30? I don't think she wanna shake your hand for 30, man. Alright, I got 50 bucks. Alright, 50 bucks. Good. 50 bucks. Now, now, now we're we finding These girls are not that hot, bro. Sorry. They're not that hot, but you wanna yeah. get off on them. Well, bring them over here. Bring them over here. Candy, Charmaine, your girls, come on over here real quick. Come on! I got 60 bucks. 60. 60 bucks. That's, That's all I got. Man. Um, you come up 200, you can do whatever you want. You say, all right. Whoa, whoa, excuse me. Did you say 200 bucks? I don't know if they got stuttered. Yeah, no, I think uh, you did. No, I don't know. You're insulting me now, bro. Wait, are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Do you want to do some business here or what? You trying to get off or what? I thought you were trying to get a little crazy, bro. 200 bucks for this trash? Bro, you Is that what you're saying? You're more than welcome to go around the corner, bro. I'll tell you what, you get one of the Marcus girls. You might as well hang that up because you're gonna have some drop off on you, man. My girls are clean, top notch, get checked out every How week. How do you know they're clean? <laughs> every Who are you? Hey, I'm Ermin. And you are Raj the Dry. Author. How'd you know that? How did I know? Um, I've been seeing your artwork for the last six months since you've been here. Where did Lou go? Um, he's probably continuing his uh, French classes with Seifu. Oh. Mm -hmm. Raj, do you believe in faith? What? Well, I'm sitting here for a reason, my friend. And what might that be? <sighs> you don't have to be here. Jean said we have to get our reports in by tonight. No, I, I'm not talking about just tonight. You're a man of great talents. Okay, you don't have to waste your gift. What talents? These. See this? Here. These are really, really good. I have no choice. I'm supposed to have a real job. How can I be happy disappointing everyone? Once I started doing what I loved, my whole life changed. No offense, but I'm not going to take career advice from a janitor. I see. Okay. Yes, Professor. Look, I'm sorry. <clears throat> hey, 
You have any thought? I have a ton of work to do. I really don't have time for this. Oh. They're going to get rid of you at the end of the quarter. Failed drug test. What? That's not true. Yeah, well, no, he's been gunning for you since you got here. Come on, is this really a surprise? Come on, Raj. Why are you helping me? You know, I, I just can't watch a talented person like you end up on the streets trying to score some snack. Okay, that's not going to happen. Okay, well... You know what this is? This is an email transcript between Lou and Melanie. Take a look. Terrific. Yeah. Yeah. Really like that one. Um, do you want to do that first scene again? Yeah. Just uh, this time with uh, a lot more energy and like pacing. Okay. Okay. Got it. <clears throat> Who are you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Cool. Who are you? Oh, hey. I'm Herman. And you're Raza Jar. Author. How'd you know that? Well, uh, how do you know that? Um, I've been viewing your artwork for the last six months since you started here. Where did they go? Possibly, probably continuing his French classes with Seifu. Oh. Raj, do you believe in faith? What? Well, I'm sitting here for a reason, Raj. And what might that be? You don't have to be here. Gene said he wanted our reports in by tonight. Okay, I'm not just talking about tonight. You are a man of great talents. Why waste your gift? What talents? These. Here, see? Look at these. These are really, really good. I have no choice. I'm supposed to have a real job. How can I be happy disappointing everyone? Once I started doing what I love, my whole life changed. No offense, but I'm not going to take career advice from a janitor. Great. Look, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was great. Good. I like that one. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I see the pacing. I mean, you can get caught up. Yeah. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right.